let's have a look at what we need to do in our plan section. So we need to have some understandings of what it is that we're going to do. So what the key idea behind this is that we want to take ourselves a random sample. And so there's two ways that we can take samples. We can either collect them randomly or we can take a bias sample. Those are the two types. Now we prefer to have a random sample. And the reason that we want a random sample is that we are going to get data that is representative of our population. So what does that mean? Well, let's have a look here. So I've got two sets of lollies. So on the left hand side here, I've just got a set of jelly beans. Now this is a bias sample because it only contains jelly beans. It doesn't contain any other type of lolly. It only contains one type of lolly. Whereas on the right hand side here, I've got a mixture I've got jelly beans, I've got pineapples, I've got snakes, I've got milk bottles. There's a mixture of different types there. And so that is a much more representative mix. And that's what we want to be able to do with our sampling. So um, if I have a, for example, if I do a questionnaire and I'm only doing that with blue-eyed students, then that will give me a biased sample. So that means in terms of the entire population, Okay, my sample only contains people that have blue eyes. So I don't have any other eye color. All right, I've only got blue eye colors. So it means I don't have any information about any other eye color at all. So that's not going to give me representative data. The other thing that we want to be aware of is that in terms of sample size, we want to take get enough data. So the more data that we have, the greater the precision. Okay, think about it in terms of it, the more information I have, the more knowledge I have, the more the better I can make a decision. So the more data you have, the more precise precise your results will be, and therefore the lower the variation. If though you've got a small sample size, um, then it means if I'm comparing two groups, it's much harder for me to find that difference. I've got to have a lot more information to be able to find small differences and those are our key ideas